Okay, my friend here, who's been an amazing addition to our show, Brandon Ellis, is part of triplets. He's got a, a brother, he's got a sister, and they are triplets. Well, for from the day I met Brandon, I told Brandon, you must see this stunning documentary about triplets, true story called Three Identical Strangers. Brandon, who's a busy guy, does a lot at SUNY Old Westbury, movie theater, works at his own radio station, but he finally found the time to see Identical Strangers. So he can offer a perspective that none of us really can, because even though Rocco is, knows his movies, and I love movies, and we all love movies, none of us can come at it from the perspective of, of it as a triplet. But Brandon, being a triplet, I am dying to hear your perspective of three identical strangers about triplets. Now, how you've made it no secret that I'm a triplet, it's become very apparent, very obvious, and as he said, the first time I met this guy, he brings up this move and he's like, you gotta see this. And that was back in October. And we're skipping all the way to February. I'd say I'd see it, I'd, I'll see it. I had recorded it, I didn't even see it. But finally, at this point in time, you better believe I saw three identical strangers. Now, my perspective, it's somewhat similar but somewhat different. I'm part of three a nice little trio, but we're fraternal. We don't look alike, we don't sound alike, but we're alike as in we have the same parents, the same background, so I can definitely offer that perspective. Now, coming into the movie, I just knew that it was about triplets that never met and came together. And I also knew later on that uh, one of the triplets, unfortunately, was no longer with us. So besides that, that's all I knew. I came in with pretty high hopes. I didn't really know what to expect. And coming out of it, I feel a little bit changed personally. I didn't know what was going to happen, what I was going to learn, but I really learned a lot from this. And I think you can too if you check out this film. Now the film starts out very happy for the most part. It talks about the journey, about how these brothers who were adopted, all three of them, Two, three separate lives, how they came together, and that's very interesting. Now, I found it very profound how uh, the two came together, then the third one came together, when they all actually met, all three of them, in one room, how they just instantly clicked, they just instantly bonded. They haven't, they haven't seen each other in 19 years since they were babies. But they just had this instant connection that you really don't get unless you are a twin or a triplet or really are siblings with someone. Now, when they saw each other, they were hugging, rolling on the floor in a platonic way, obviously. But if I saw my triplet, I'd just be like, oh, it's you. Like, we're used to each other. But in all seriousness, though, there's really a deep-rooted connection that you're going to have. Um, me and my sister, we have that connection, but we're not as close. I would say I would compare this to more of me and my triplet brother. We're inseparable, we do everything together, and we have so much in common. Although these three had very different backgrounds, they actually, it's later discovered that they had a lot in common. They wrestled at a time, uh, they smoked the same cigarettes, they they did very similar things. They had very similar, similar mannerisms. And although that's probably more common with identical triplets rather than fraternal, I definitely, I do have certain things in common with my brother or my sister that I wouldn't have with most people. With triplets, with twins, you feel like you can only understand each other for the most part. And they really found that through each other. And that's such an inspiring, powerful thing. And then there was more of the sunshine and rainbow idealistic uh, lifestyle that later happens. They became instant celebrities. They appeared in a Madonna movie, I believe. They uh, went on all these talk shows and they started their own restaurant and things seemed great. But things started to turn a little bit 
towards the interesting, maybe towards a little bit of a bad side, because they actually uncover the truth as to why they were separated, why they couldn't be adopted in threes. And this is very interesting, because coming into this, I had no idea what was going to happen. But actually going into it and learning that these three were actually separated for a certain reason, I won't get into it, by the government. And there's a whole deep layered plot that actually occurs. And this is a real thing. This is not the work of fantasy. This is a real thing that happened a few decades ago that affected the lives of triplets and twins. And it's a very serious thing that they go into. And that's something else. If I were to be, if I were to not know about my siblings, First of all, my life would be totally different. There was this sort of debate, nature versus nurture, how you'd be affected in this documentary that was brought up. And although genetics will determine a lot about you, and I can attest that through my two other triplet siblings, even compared to my older brother, there's something about being in the same environment, living with the same people, and having that nurturing effect that will shape you into the person that you become. And that goes into the idea because one of the brothers took his own life and there comes the question, would he be any different if he was together with his siblings under the same roof? We don't know for certain, it's a very big what if, but it definitely pulls into that question. We don't know for sure. So while this the documentary was very uplifting, showing such a sweet side to bonding. There definitely is something more sinister uh, stirring up in this documentary that you really need to see. It's something special if you're someone who loves family, someone who's curious about triplets, or someone who is a triplet such as my, myself. So it's about time I saw this. I finally saw it. And I give it three out of three stars. Triple pun entirely intended. Thank you very much, Rocco. Uh, Rocco. Thank you very much, Brandon, <laughs> who sounded just like Rocco. It was a great movie review, and, and I really appreciate your take on it coming from a triplet. And I'm glad, glad you saw the movie. Um, uh, you know, again, you know, I, I think the scene, um, just talking about the one scene where uh, the one brother, Eddie uh, takes his own life. Um, I, I think that they were all um, psychologically damaged by not being together when they found out that they, they were separated. And after they decided to open up the restaurant, when one of the other twins dropped out of the restaurant, Eddie, one of the triplets, took that very hard because he of the three I felt was most into um, the, the triplets being together, being a team. Um, he loved the fact that they were all working together and one of the other triplets dropped out of the restaurant. I think that was uh, very devastating to Eddie and I don't wanna say that was the sole reason why he took his life, but I think it definitely played a role in, in his uh, taking his own life. Uh, I just think that might have been, you know, I, I think he had some, uh, mental illness and that was the, the stir that, that, that was the final straw that, that took him over the edge but um, uh, I think that was really the saddest part that you know instead of talking about three identical strangers right now we're only talking about two. Right that definitely is such a tragic unfortunate thing and we could keep saying what if but this is just the reality unfortunately and as you said with the motive, we're never going to actually know why he took his own life. He, if I'm not mistaken, he was diagnosed with manic depressive, in other words, bipolar disorder. So it takes one trigger, one effect, one sad day in that depressive mode for someone uh, with that to actually do the unthinkable and end their own lives. So we can never truly know. Again, a very big theory that was touched on with the documentary is the whole nature perspective, the whole nurture perspective. 
What would happen if he was raised differently? Again, what if? But it's definitely an interesting film that I think everyone should really check out. Absolutely, uh, Brandon, and um, I want to uh, say that I appreciate uh, your take on it. Uh, being a triplet, I, I think you offered a very uh, unique perspective that a lot of us uh, couldn't offer, and um, I'm glad you got a chance to see it. And um, for those who have not seen it, Identical Strangers is, is, is a documentary you should uh, definitely check out. Great job, Brandon.